Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner on the Amanda map. This is not going to be a normal episode, just a little review of this Lodestar Heavy Recovery. I know the Lodestar has pretty much been done to death as far as modifications, but this is the first one I've seen that gives you the option of using the wheels by Quasi. So let's see what this thing offers. Now this doesn't even now my other Lodestar mods give you an engine with S plus power. This just has the stock uh, or the um, or the I guess vanilla engines. This only has what you would consider the vanilla engines. It has a custom gearbox. You can have a raised suspension, which I already have two extra of. Um, and now 52 inch studded mud singles you have 39 inch or 52 inch that's simply a mud tire in the case of the cat those are called ice monster tires the way they have the cuts in the tire. Those are what the ice monster tires look like. But this, in this vehicle, they're just calling them mud singles, or they have studded mud singles. So we're going to go with the studded, because that does not have any ice any ability for ice that's I guess that's what I meant to say and there's the studded tires give you the ice ability that's the big the big moo about this vehicle is those wheels um, A medium power autonomous or an advanced medium. The advanced medium, while it gives you the ex combination of the extended rope length and the, and the high power, is not going to give you any autonomous ability so I'm going to put the autonomous winch on it just because got a short round cap for a dollar different short round same round cap for a dollar all four of these are exactly the same <clears throat> got from the bottom up LC38 loading crane service cab 2500 repair parts 12 spare wheels and 2000 fuel so he has done some work on the service cab 
it always had repair parts, spare tires, and fuel, but not that much. That's the normal service cab. Not even spare tires and fuel, just simply repair parts. I was mistaken about it having tires and fuel. The normal service cab is simply repair parts. This service cab has the shit. Holy moly. That makes it worth taking. Pickup chassis add-on. 508 and 500. So these would be the normal variety. The vanilla pickup chassis. 153 and 100. And there's three of those in the list, but... This would be the good one, the modded one. So this would be another modification to the vehicle, 508 and 500. Oh, excuse me. I just woke up and I wanted to knock this out before I even had breakfast. Otherwise, I'm wasting daylight. Um... My other load stars, which I have like four, three or four of, um, I'll run the pickup chassis add-on. I think I'm going to stick the service cab on this. The picky pickup chassis add-on adds the least amount of weight and has the lowest center of gravity. Um, so this is the normal angled with beacons, doesn't matter which one you get. You got a flasher bar. There's like three or four of each of these in the list. It appears that they're just duplicates. You got the roof fog lights. Doesn't matter which one you click on. It's the same thing. And you got the beacon with fog lights. It doesn't give you you could go with the roof fog lights and then put beacons on it, but it doesn't give you a straight up beacon option, so the only way to get beacons is to do the beacon and fog lights. It would appear there's no other rooftop function unless there's something in miscellaneous. We'll get to that in order. Um, single bar, fog lighter, double pipe, heavy duty pipe, angled, angled, defender, defender, hinged, hinged, stock, stock, stock. Alright, um, I actually kind of like the look of the stock bumper on this vehicle. Plus it doesn't add additional weight. But given that we've put extra weight on the ass end, I think I'm going to go with Well, the Defender gives you the look of having a winch on the front and it gives you a couple of fog lights although I like the look of the single bar or the heavy duty pipe better <clears throat> I 
really kind of like that one. It just doesn't. If he just um, if he just added a winch in the center, that'd be the perfect one. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the defender because it has the winch in the front. You know, I still like the looks of that one, though. That one covers up a little more of the tire than the Defender, I think. Yeah, it does. You know, the Defender actually gives you more ground clearance than the single bar. So what better reason do you do? Yeah, it's got the winch and it gives you more ground clearance. It gives you more clearance on the wheel. Now this does have some rooftop stuff. You can stick a searchlight down there by the mirror. You've got the option of caged beacon or two square beacons. the chrome parking lights, everything else, the square beacons, the caged beacons, all eliminate the beacons and fog light combo that I had on there. The chrome parking lights allows that to come back. So I'm going to go with that. Um, Twin horn or external horns. I like the look of them spread apart and stuck right between the running lights and the chrome running lights. Um, gives it a nice symmetry. And then, of course, you've got the searchlight. Now, one possibility if you wanted to go that way is you could probably do the two square beacons with um, the running lights the running lights without the beacons from the previous page experiment with that. Let's go back to rooftop. Now if you put the flasher bar on it takes away the two square beacons but if you put the roof fog lights see there? Fog lights with the two square beacons you can do that. So then you can have your you can have your fog lights and your beacons as separate parts on the roof of the vehicle. Personally, I like the look of these beacons better. I prefer the look of that setup than the small beacon. It looks more like just an enlarged parking light, you know. Alright, we explored the shit out of that, so... Um, only one choice for rims. Let's find a color for it. Hmm. It's actually not bad. It's supposed to be a two-tone. I don't see a lot of two-tone other than the fenders. Maybe the fenders are different than the rest of it. Same there. 
it's mostly one color and that again is supposed to be like a three tone these are supposed to all be like have three different colors on it I don't see it I see two between the hood and the fender they're a little different blue same with the red it's mainly red with the fenders a different color looks like it's either body or fender that changes color that's all green I kind of like the red. What the hell? Are there any interior customizations? Sure there is. I wish we could get the Joker. But you have to um, complete one of the Michigan trials to get the Joker. Oh, no. I'm mistaken. In the when you're first loading the game and it has a button for the trials that's what you have to complete you have to complete the ride on king trial to get this item which is different from the public test server because I had the Joker in the public test server In the past, I've gone with the Hawaii girl. I'll go with the docks in this time. Maybe I should go complete those trials. I experimented with one of them, and um, this one looks fine. And I, um failed miserably on the first try <laughs> and I didn't go back so those there's your new lodestar heavy recovery the three modifications are the wheels and the difference in repair points and fuel and wheels with the service cab and then the difference in repair points fuel and wheels with the pickup chassis add-on otherwise it's pretty much vanilla I'm really kinda surprised that he didn't give it a better engine it only has the vanilla engines which means you only have a plus power but um, we'll take it out and run it up and down the hill that I normally use and see what that power looks like Do I make a daytime Turn on my controller. Always on. Handbrake and diff lock. It still has the same putt putt sound that all the load stars have. But personally, I would like to have seen them done more with. Would like to have seen them done do more with the engine. I love the wheels, and I love the fact that he gave it more. <clears throat>
1500 fuel or something like that I should be able to knock that down but it seems to be having trouble with it let's see if it stays upright over this rock Took the rock no problem. I wonder if um, I wonder if Snowrunner did an update while I was sleeping. Because it appears that my ability to knock the trees over has went away. That's a manually installed mod. Look at this, it's staying up. It did not tip over. If you remember the Voron Grad, the Voron Grad tipped over in the same situation. So I like that. It can handle handle the angle of the dangle, so to speak, <laughs> um, without falling over. Um, I'd show you what trailers it can hook up to, but I would imagine it's just the, the standard fare of either, um, scout trailer. Oh, I see it's got a ball on it, so it's going to do your scout trailers. Whether or not it'll do a pintle style, well, I guess we could find out that right now. But I kind of doubt it. Where's that? There it is. It doesn't appear that he's modified it to handle either Pintle or Scout. He hasn't done a lot of modification to the truck other than the wheels. Let's see how it handles dropping off this cliff over here. Wow, that's nice. So we're going to answer whether it'll hook up to a pintle or not. Might be at the wrong angle, but it's not doing anything. It's giving me nothing. It's not saying that I'm no suitable trailer to attach. That's the that's the word it's given me. No suitable trailer to attach. So that tells me it will only run scout trailers. So there she is. Pull it up here behind the Kodiak. There's my M134. Most awesome scout in the game. Although it doesn't have the ability to, doesn't have a trailer ball on the back to pull a scout trailer. That would be the only thing that I improved about the M134, I guess. The ability to actually pull a scout trailer. park it right here behind the Kodiak which almost looks like a Lodestar with that pickup bed on it Lodestar's pickup bed stop engine and just leave her parked right there 
Alright, this is the last of the reviews of modded vehicle, the new modded vehicles that I've downloaded. And we'll get back to the game. Thanks for watching.